This is Earth Science teacher Tim Martin, and in this short video, I want to show you a powerful visualization tool for surface seismic waves. EarthScope was an experiment to map and study the interior of the Earth using seismic waves or vibrations caused by earthquakes. This array used high precision seismic stations, such as this one located near Rosman, North Carolina. Since it was too costly to place seismometers across the country, plans were made for a transportable array that could be moved across the United States. On the 22nd of February, 2008, an earthquake occurred in Wells, Nevada. Each seismic station is indicated by a circle. When the circle turns red, that indicates the seismometer moved up. When it turns blue, it indicates the seismometer moved down. This gives us a powerful visualization of how the earthquake waves traveled across the country. The surface waves generated by this earthquake are much like ripples in a pond. If a rock is thrown in a pond, it generates waves. These waves move across the surface of the water. In the same way, ripples or wave surface waves move across the surface of the earth. In 2011, when there was the earthquake in Mineral, Virginia, again we saw the up-down ripples or the surface waves moving across the array in the center of the country. Similarly, in March of 2011, when the massive almost magnitude 9 earthquake occurred near Honshu, Japan, massive waves traveled across the country. While Japan is west of the United States, you'll notice these waves are coming from the northwest. Seismic waves take the most direct route possible, in this case following a great circle. After a period of time, the waves seemed to show quite a bit of confusion. Then, they seemed to appear to be organized once again, this time coming from the opposite direction. In fact, these waves have traveled the entire way around the world.